This is the Negro Ninja. And before we start, I would like for y'all to take a look at the t-shirts in the description. Now, I know I'm not the only one that feels as if I am a foreigner in a weird land. Okay, you want to know who's straight. Okay, and believe it or not, there are other people that wants to know who's straight as well. All right. And the number of women that want straight men will shock you, even though it seems like it ain't none out there that want straight men. You'll be surprised. Ever since this super straight thing started um, blowing up, the number of chicks I've seen complaining about rainbow zombies is remarkable. Okay. Shit, I was even seeing some chicks on Omegle. I'm like, dang, it's about like a 50 of y'all bitches gay. I didn't expect for you to be straight. No, that's what's up. Okay, so they out there. Trust me. We just got to figure out. You know, We got to, um, I, I want to say, um, draw them out. You know, just put out a beacon. You know, they'll, 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 they'll come. So anyway, this also segues perfectly in today's topic. Okay, and, and I'm going to be talking more about, you know, averageness and remarkability, you know. I think I talked about this quite a bit of time ago, but it, anyway, here's the update. Because a girl on a Reddit post, you know, just got my gears turning again. Okay, so the, the topic of the Reddit is what are wholesome things that are actually toxic? Okay. Wholesome things that are toxic. And they put wholesome in um, quotations. All right. So a girl says one of the most thought provoking things she has ever heard was that there's nothing bad about being considered average. So many people are and yet they can still be happy with the things considered average family, good career, prospects, healthy lifestyle, etc. Sometimes being simple and average is OK. And she is telling the truth. OK. I like to just talk about an average looking woman. OK. You know, a lot of people want a dime and all this type of stuff, and that's okay. All right. And I will be quick to tell you that some of the worst acting bitches on this planet are fives, but it goes deep. You know, you got some fives that are just okay. And they they kind of on the ugly range. You got some fives that are, you know, on a, you know, like a, you know, like an average hot chick. And then you got like the perfect balance to where, you know, the chick is just right here, just well balanced. You know, there's a reason why. Model agencies go for bitches. That's like what I just said right here. Because they can be molded into whatever you need them to be. Okay. Because that type of five can easily be a 10 under the right circumstances. These type of holes are very good for role playing. You're the type of nigga that need a different looking bitch every night. And she like to role play nigga. You, you hit the jackpot. That's about as good as a 10. Okay. Okay. Now let's 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 identify even more what, a, what that is. You know, I'm not talking about no chick that is average and you see these little sloppy holes walking around uh -uh, i'm talking about petite like how god made women okay just a regular template you know that you can customize however you want like in saints row okay with the girl template but it, it'll look better than that because them saints row girls be looking weird anyway but they do be stacked though i ain't gonna lie to you they do be stacking them the whole templates on saints row all right. Now, if you want to take this on a general level, what if you just average at a particular skill? OK, remember, you just passed the bar. You are at the bar. OK, are you a chef? No, but you know how to cook a good meal, right? That's all that matters. You can cook something that tastes well enough for you to eat over and over. OK, that's cool. OK, and society does need to stop, you know, trying to make everybody strive to be, you know, the greatest and everything. Not everybody can be the greatest in everything. Okay. If you're fighting somebody with a weapon of some sort, you don't got to be an expert. You just got to know that weapon enough to win. You don't know how to use a knife like Deadpool, but you will F somebody up. That's all that matters. All you need is a cut. Okay. It's about, it's really all about being competent. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and it also just goes to show you how important people are in general, as long as you are competent, because everybody's needed. Not everybody can be Michael Jordan on the court, but you need some people on your team that's going to help you make these points. Okay, going back to the females, she don't got to be perfect, but she's going to make my dick hard. You don't make my dick hard, you ain't got no use for you. I bet you I didn't tell you to go out there and get no Botox. I told you to, hold on, hold on. 
Bitch, I told you the Botox is just penis, meaning that you need to bend over at a certain angle that I would like for you to bend over at and probably show some cleavage. Okay, that's what's important. That's what I need, Botox. Okay, it's, it's very simple. We're very simple to please. Okay, bitch, act right. Bitch, cook. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's take this to the social level. When it comes to friends, all we need is just friends that are just do shit friends are supposed to do such as confide, not tell my god's damn business. Don't associate with motherfuckers that I'm enemies with. Let me know when niggas is plotting on me when they don't know that we are um, in the same association or something. All right. You want everybody you know to be loyal. Don't go behind my back talking shit to people that is not, you know, somebody that I need knowing my business or whatever. And speaking of something, you, you know, like you, that's how you can tell when people was never your friends. Because when, when, you know, when the opportunity comes, you know, for them to show you, they're going to show you. So if somebody's talking shit over here, I don't care if they are mad at you. OK, you would have to do something extreme for that to be viable. OK, but if y'all just got a falling out of something and then somebody just opened up a gate. Hey, we're going to just talk shit about the Negro Ninja. And if they over there talking shit with them niggas, they ain't shit. They was never your buddies to begin with. That's below average. OK, OK. And once again, there's nothing wrong with average people. OK, they can get the job done. That's all that matters. You want people like like let's say Pikmin on Nintendo GameCube or whatever. Omar is stronger than the Pikmin. He's bigger than the Pikmin. But he get 50 Pikmins to do some shit that he can't do. I need 50 of y'all niggas over there to go over there and beat this monster's ass and put him in my ship. OK. And give me that bottle cap over there, too. I need this um this cherry. Give me that. OK, hurry up. All right. All right. I think I forgot why I stopped that. I think I was saying something about a bottle cap for some reason. I forgot. I had to pause for a minute. But anyway. So um, anyway, you know, like I said, you know, if you got average people around you that you can, you know, use on some level, that's good. All right. And I will be quick to tell you. All right. That. When you're not average, like when you're remarkable or something, you get all them problems. And, you know, I'd be like, it's because them motherfuckers ain't on the same level. And it actually goes a little deeper than that. Okay. Um, I'm going to read some of the comments that was on this girl's thread. Hold up. All right. And, you know, people are basically talking from their own experiences or what it means to them. Like the first person says, there's nothing wrong with a life of peace and prosperity. See, he's just thinking, oh, yeah, just typical stuff. Okay. And um, a girl says being average sometimes only means being able to choose things that are good for your um, mental health over success or recognition or success simply means something different to them. She certainly like being average. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. And they kind of sort of, you know, they, they talking about something a little different than me, though. They just saying like, oh, a simple life is good and all this type of stuff. Not they don't need to be extravagant and try to live like celebrities and stuff like that so they're telling the truth they're right okay and they're talking from you know their experiences and everything that's cool somebody said i've met below average people in every way that's why i'm perfectly content to be considered average and to be honest with you that person is right because if, if you want to think about the issues that i've been going through all my little rants and stuff these people don't really be mediocre. They be like below average, really, when you stop to think about it. Okay, like they, all their character just be below average. And that's really what it boils down to. But I'm going to break that down as I read my comment later on. Though, but hold up. You know what? Everybody's basically saying, you know, oh, just a simple lifestyle. Or they'll say they're okay with being average. But I'm going to break it down real quick. Okay. Not everybody can be remarkable. Not everybody can be average. Some people are just not made to be average some people are not made to be you know a standout you know whatever so i basically come in there and just tell her my um experience i said one thing i can say is that when you stand out and it's remarkable it's not easy to prosper and it's true okay and once again i'm like is it because i'm just here and there light here and it's because of their character they're you know aside from them just being narcissists if you think you can just go somewhere and then just thrive because you're awesome or something, 
you got another thing coming. You just gotta you gotta pick carefully. Because it's going back to the Pikmin method. I mean the Pikmin um analogy from earlier. Okay, he's bigger and stronger than the Pikmin. He's much smarter. Okay, but what is he doing? He's using them to work for him. And guess what the Pikmin are? They are willing to be led by a remarkable person. You see that? Okay, so therefore, these people, okay, you know, like, like how Jesus say the, the world is going to hate you because they it hates Jesus. Okay, so you walking around doing things in Jesus. You know, okay, I'm a, okay, I, I, I'm a person that doesn't do stupid stuff, so I'm not going to do stupid stuff. This nigga is different. I don't like that. Like how hoes, he ain't like on them other niggas. Okay, and they don't want to be led. They don't want a good example and stuff like that. So that's really what that boils down to. So I'm going to just break it down even more to even, you know, glue this together with it. I said, people hate on you and they don't, they don't acknowledge your glory. Okay. They don't want to acknowledge the goodness and shit. I'm like, hold on. Hold on. They'll just pretend like they don't see you and stuff and they don't want to give you credit. And I said, they'll be quick to copy, a.k.a. steal from you to make themselves look more interesting. And like I said on my original channel, before I even had like a solid 100 subs, motherfuckers was already stealing. I was like, damn. I'm like, y'all motherfuckers start a channel. When I start the channel, you wait, wait, wait till I get like 20 to 50 videos and start making videos saying the same shit, but worse. Okay. They're trying to come up. And, you know, a lot of them have actually got like hundreds of thousands of subs just copying me. Okay, or well, some have more than that and just be copying and don't want to give me a shout out for the upcoming YouTube person. So anyway, um, I said when you are average, you're easier to relate to and you will be exalted and constantly built up. But the reality is, once again, it's not because they're relatable because they're average. It's because they're relatable because they all on the same page with that spiritual bullshit. Okay, they got the same spirit. They don't, you know, they're not trying to be better than what they are, you know. So instead of just learning from somebody that is great, you know, they just you steal it. And when you're stealing, you're not learning shit. You're just copying. Okay. You know, they go out their way to try to hide you because they could just say, hey, man, y'all check out this nigga here. This nigga here, dope. Mm -mm. They say, nigga, I'm dope. Look at what I'm doing. But I stole it from that nigga. Okay. And they are quick to build people up that are like them because they want them to be over you. Similar to how they build um, idols because they want those idols to be over the prophets and God. Okay, oh, let's not listen to what Elijah said. Let's listen to this golden cow. Let's not listen to Moses. Let's listen to the golden cattle. Don't make any sense. Look at how shiny it is. Look at how sharp this nigga is. Look at how bright he is. All right. Then I say you have to be in the correct or ideal environments to have awesomeness work to your benefit. And the correct and ideal environments will be to where motherfuckers are righteous and not narcissists. Okay. Because people will put you where you need to be when you go in the right places. Okay. Let's say, for instance, if you're um, at a karate school or something. And you're like, well, these people are okay or whatever. Okay, if you're at a correct karate school, they'll be inviting and warm towards you. Damn, you're really good. And then they'll just boost you up the rates quick. You know what? You're too good to be this. They'll probably even start you off with a belt that's not even white. Okay. Or maybe they're not, you know, maybe they're still good, but you're better or something. They'll be like, no, nah, you're too good to be that. I'm going to start you off here. I'm going to push you because I know you can do better. Okay, this is too this is too basic for you. So do this, that, and this. that's how it'll be. Okay, and you're gonna just go up there, and they're gonna exalt you, so people can respect you and be led by you as well. Same thing if you had a company, you got some good ideas. We're gonna make sure you rise up. Okay, cause they got good spirits. Okay, and we all know that not everybody can be the best at everything. So to acknowledge somebody greater is very important. Okay, if you want to learn something and be great, guess what you're going to do? You're going to respect greatness. You know what, nigga? You're actually good. I'm going to listen to you.
Okay, and if you do want to be better, guess what? You're going to listen, and then you're going to become better than, you know, just okay or whatever. You know, these people do what they do because they don't deserve greatness at all. You know, some people don't want it. Okay, and once again, that's okay if they're not bad people. All right, I said in many ways it will work more against you than being below average because these people are trying to knock you down. Like I said, it's about the idol thing. They, they don't want God to be God. They want an idol to be over God. They want an idol to be over the prophets. You ain't talking no sense, nigga. We don't believe in that. That's what they're saying. Okay, they're basically saying, we don't believe none of you talking about, nigga. And it's funny because I'm reading Proverbs. And I think Proverbs explain this point perfectly for some reason. I don't know how this happened, but you know how it is when you read the Bible. You always read, hear something you need to hear at the moment. So anyway, let's... um. Look at some scriptures in Proverbs 1. All right. And one of the reasons why some people, you know, will hate on somebody for being remarkable is because. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me find this. Hold on. You know, a lot of people are just evil in. What is this? Proverbs 1. Verse 7 says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And like I said, when, you know, you just got, you know, like a talent and something different about you. You know, you, you just like this God just oozing through you and they just see this. You know, like them, you know, people that's in authority get all intimidated and stuff, acting scared. They're going to take my position. OK, that's why all that caught me in that. Okay, and it's not necessarily, oh, they're not as good as me. That's why they're doing me so wrong. It's because they're just not good on the inside. That's what it really is. Okay, because some people that is okay really want to get better. Okay, some people that's not all that good want to stay that way because they just don't got God in them. And to be fair, you know, sometimes somebody would say like mediocre or okay when they really mean they suck. So, you know... The word average is not really thrown around all that correctly anyway. But anyway, all right, here's some more scriptures, I think, as to this point. Well, all right, my son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Because that's what they do, you know. I'm like, he's not like us. Let's, let's just let's try to swallow this nigga up. Okay, let us swallow them up alive as the grave and the hole as those that go down into the pit trying to lay traps for you and gaslight you and stuff with these snares. And um, verse 13 says, we shall find our presence, precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. And they're just basically doing all the stuff I just said at the beginning, you know, stealing your ideas and all this type of stuff. Um, Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. You know, more of that. So Solomon says, my son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. For their foot run to evil and make haste to bloodshed. Okay. And they even try to get the person that they're jealous of to participate in that too. They, you know, that's why I be saying you got to be very careful before joining certain stuff. You know, you think that you go into a gym, it's for your benefit. You think you're getting a job is for your benefit. You know, you low-key entering into weird, you know, um, cults and stuff without even knowing. You're just there for one thing. They got you there for the other thing, you know, because one thing I do notice that like a lot, a lot of jobs, they be trying to low-key turn you out at jobs. Like that one job I had when I was working around all them girls in cor at the corporate job I like. Before I got to that building with those girls, I went through hell. I had to get trained in the gay town. I was like, dang, while well, I had to be in this gay town. I'm like, what? okay, this is my highest paying job so far. And then I got to train here for two weeks. That was a hellish two weeks. And then when I get there, the, one of the women that worked with me, that's actually at the, um, um, what you call that place, whoever the company is I work for, you know, trying to see if the shit worked. Are you looking for a woman? I'm like, what the fuck is the type of question is that? Bitch, ask me if I'm single. Okay, he's trying to see if that jump worked. But if you're trying to turn you out, though, you got to be careful. You know, like these narcissists, it's always everywhere. Like, let's say, for instance, you hear, 
Okay, and they over here with whatever they're doing. They, they should be trying to lay snares. You got to be very careful. All right, but since this is 20 minutes, I guess I'm going to end it now. You know what? Before I end this, I got to say this. You know, once again, they're trying to turn niggas out. Let me read this scripture. Um, For they hated knowledge and did not choose the, the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. They just hate you, man. Therefore, they shall eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperities of the fools shall destroy them. All right, and that's all I got to say for this rant. And this has been the Negro Ninja bringing you your Negro message for today, Negro out.